So in this tutorial, I'm just going to take you through some of the most useful shortcuts in After Effects. And these are basically the ones that I use the most. And if I miss anything out, feel free to leave a comment. So I've got this simple scene set up with two objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the Y shortcut, which helps us uh, move the anchor point. I've click Y and I can move the anchor point to the center here. And now I'm going to hit V to go back to select mode, which is up here. And now I can move my objects. Uh, so Y, I can put the anchor point over here and V back to select mode. So next, I'm just going to add some quick animation. I'm just going to open up the transform properties down here, put a position keyframe and move it over here. Now we've got some animation, maybe add some rotation. Something like that, like it's tumbling down. So there might be a time when you just want to get rid of all these like manipulator handles and kind of paths because uh, it's kind of too cluttered. You just want to look at the raw animation. To do that, hold down Control Shift H and that just gets rid of all the clutter on the screen and you can look at the animation. So Control Shift H, very handy. Uh, H is the hand tool, so you can move around the screen. Uh, v, back to select. And uh, G for the pen tool, obviously, to draw another shape. Uh, this is actually now a part of this poly shape. So I'm just going to undo that. Control Z to undo. Uh, this one's very useful. Sometimes you just want to center an asset right in the center of the screen. To do that, hold down Control and Home. Whoops, what happened here? Sorry. Yeah, to do that, hold down Control and Home. So what happened there was I'm on a Dell laptop and uh, to access the Home button, I need to hold down Function first. So just something to bear in mind, if you're on a, if you're on a laptop with a limited keyboard, before you hit that Home button, you might have to hold down, hold down Function as well. So it's actually gonna be Control, Function, Home. But if you've got a normal keyboard at home, it's just control and home. Okay, so that one's very handy. Uh, to RAM preview, make sure your number lock is on and then just hit zero. I don't have this on my keyboard. Uh, if I hit zero, nothing happens, but it's just something to bear in mind. Uh, next, another handy shortcut is if you just wanna preview a range, a timeline range, and that's B and N, just to kind of clip it uh, choose like a portion of the timeline. So B sets the beginning, and then N sets the end. So if I just wanna look at this segment here, I'm gonna hit N and then RAM preview, and I'm just examining this portion here. So I use that one quite a lot. And uh, we've got comma to zoom out, and dot, uh, sorry, period to zoom in. Those are pretty handy. And then plus and minus, yeah, that zooms in the timeline then minus zooms out. Okay, and then finally, well not finally, but um, I'm just gonna click this poly layer with the animation. If you hit U, that shows you all your uh, properties with keyframes on them. This is very useful. So you can just get rid of all the other clutter and just focus on the properties with just the keyframes. Uh, if you highlight keyframes like this, select click and drag to select all these keyframes and hit F9. Usually it's just F9. Ah, oh, wait, function F9. Nope, extremely irritating. But yeah, uh, usually on a keyboard, you just hit F9 and it does this. It goes to, uh, it makes them easy ease keyframes. So easy ease is just like a kind of quick easing. Um, you get a, ease in at the beginning and then an ease out at the end. Just kind of smooths the animation. I use it quite a lot. So I'm just gonna do BN here, preview. So you can see the easing now. So if you select a keyframe and hit F9, that gives it an automatic easy ease. And we had a few more options there, as you could see. Um, we had shift and F9 for easy ease in and control shift and F9 for easy ease out. I don't really use these, but uh, there they are. Oh yeah, and there's a control T to activate text mode. You can draw a box, click and drag to draw a box and then you can add some text to the scene. So 
that's pretty much all the ones I use uh, very often. Um, if I've missed anything, please leave a comment. So that's the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching.